Hello everybody. We're back with the last part of this January and February collection update. This is the last video, uh, video games. Crystal's here again. We have a little bit here. There's some really, really big and important stuff in this. But honestly, it's probably the smallest section as a whole, maybe. But it has some really, really important stuff, including at the end of this video, something that we have both waited over a decade to come out. We'll start off here with the last pop figure, actually, uh, that I hinted at in the movie video. It's actually Coco Bandicoot from Crash Bandicoot. I still think I like Zazu better, but still really cool to have this. I like it. It's interesting. It is really nice. She bought this. I don't remember. I think this is a GameStop, That actually. was GameStop, yeah. Yeah, because the corners are a little crushed. I don't remember if this yeah. is the one that came out and I mean, fell the, off or whatever. This but... I don't really care. I'm not that picky. Yeah. And there's all the other crashes. We did see the... Uh, the we we saw at the pop store and at the GameStop the uh, scuba bandicoot. Yeah, but, I didn't know they made an aqua. Okay, aqua. that would have been cool. Like, but really cool to have an, uh, a Coco Bandicoot. I really do. We both really like Crash Bandicoot, but really really cool. Not much to say about it. It's just Coco. Then we actually go on to some amiibo, and there's actually quite a few here. Um, we'll start off with the unboxed ones because I actually. Well, I mean, I, I deliberately bought two of them, but this one I found randomly at the thrift store that yeah. we found all of her little figurines, her little plushy animals. We found a Diddy Kong amiibo for like three dollars. Yeah, it was. I so was like, really? I, I was yeah. like, you know what? I can I can do that. I don't know if this is the Super Mario one or if it's the Smash Brothers one. It's the Smash Brothers one. Cause look, there's a Smash Brothers logo right there. What do there. the Super Mario ones have on the bottom? They're usually like there's usually like a red rim, and then it's just. Like oh yeah, yeah. Okay, it is the Smash one then. Yeah, yeah and I, I, I feel like it's probably worth more than three dollars, but still really cool. I just picked it up because it's like you know what, super cheap amiibo. Why not? Really cool to have. But the two big ones I got were two I've been trying to get for a long time because I'm trying to get all the Zelda amiibo unboxed as well, and they did just reprint Zelda and Sheik. So, like, I knew Zelda was reprinted. I didn't know about Sheik. I was going to go to GameStop to pick up Zelda, and people were telling me. I think a friend of mine was like, I think I saw Sheik, too. So I went there, and they had both. So I'm like, you know what? I am buying these. Really cool to have. Um, I love the design on Zelda's dress, actually, and how it's it doesn't move, really. But really, really cool to finally have these two unboxed after so much time. Really, really cool. Then we actually have three boxed Amiibos. The first two here I actually pre-ordered, and the third one was just the most random find I think I've ever had with an Amiibo, to be honest. But I pre-ordered the two of the new Smash Brothers characters. Uh, we got Piranha Plant here, which originally I wasn't really going to pre-order, but then I'm like, okay, you know what, it's Piranha Plant, why not? Plus he looks really good. Like, they definitely upped the quality on these. Oh yeah, a lot. for the new Amiibo, they're putting like different languages on them? Yeah, no, it's in, they have Japanese, the reprints and all the new Amiibos, they do different languages. But, yeah, really cool Piranha Plant. Um, interesting character in Smash, I'll say that. But, really cool to have uh, that one. And then the other one that I knew I had to get, because uh, I, I actually originally kind of li grew to like this character in the, the Mario Super Sluggers game, but it's King K. Rule. Um, oh, yeah. Again, looks yes. really cool. But really glad to have this. Plus, I think it's actually the other than the unboxed Diddy Kong. I think this might actually be the only Donkey Kong character I have the amiibo for. But I really wanted King K. Rule, so I got him. How dare you. Really, really cool. Uh, I'm glad to have this one. And then the big surprise, and I, I can't believe I found this at a Best Buy, considering it wasn't even a Best Buy exclusive. Uh, I guess they reprinted it. It is a reprint. It's the Player Two Cloud. Uh, it was the one one of the original list of amiibo that I wrote down years ago that I still needed and I saw it and I'm like you gotta be kidding me cloud player 2 because I have player 1 I pre-ordered player 1 and I got it but this was a GameStop exclusive for the longest time so I'm hoping that I'll be seeing other amiibos eventually I don't know really really surprised to find cloud but you know overall I got three new amiibos and that's really awesome and there are some more coming out and I did pre-order I'll just say right now, I pre-ordered Youngling and Ken, and I actually pre-ordered two Younglings so I could unbox one. Still, really cool to have all three of those. I'm really happy about that. 
but we'll, we'll actually go on to before we're still not quite at video games yet we have a couple more things here but the first thing we actually got I actually got a guide at that same thrift store I saw it for like five bucks and I'm like eh, considering what the game is I might as well get it it's actually the guide to Soul Calibur 2 the P Brady games guide to Soul Calibur 2 and this oop, oh, this geez. actually covers all three versions, the Xbox, GameCube, and PS2. So it, it talks about Spawn, Hihachi, and Link. Um, but it goes through it. It's actually pretty thin <coughs> for a guide. And it, but it has, like, command lists. It has all the characters. It has everything. Unfortunately, it is missing the poster that was apparently in the back. But that's okay. And it, I, I really did enjoy Soul Calibur 2, particularly on the GameCube. So I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick up this guide. Really, really cool to have. I, I, uh, I really like Soul Calibur 2. And then, the final thing before we go on to the actual games. I actually, I guess you could say I got a new console. It is another version of a console I already had. But it's because I just couldn't take that console anymore. I actually went out and got a top-loading NES. Uh, I no longer have my regular NES. It was being too finicky. I, came to f I have come to find out that actually the, con the connections or the connection points were bad. That's why it was being super finicky. I know the NES, the original, is super finicky to begin with, but it was just too much. This thing so far has been a lot better. I've gotten all my games to work just fine. Um, some of them you have to blow on a little bit, but it is definitely less finicky. Plus, this will play European games as well. And it did also come with, with the bone controller. The oh. dog bone controller, excuse me. So, that's really cool as well. It actually feels a little bit more comfortable than the regular NES controller. But this was quite pricey. It was not cheap, um, but I needed to get it because my NES was a piece of crap. So now we can actually play NES games without any real issue. The only issue is it kind of did mess up how my uh, entertainment stand looks, but it's, it's, it's adjustable. Everything's fine. Really, really happy to have the top loader finally because now I can actually get like your PAL games, European games. Can't get Famicom games, but that's okay. Um, but still really, really cool. All right, we actually move on to video games now. Yay. We'll actually start off with a couple of Steam games that I got right at the beginning of January from Crystal, actually. She got them as late Christmas presents because she had the extra money. Yeah. Um, the first game I actually got was uh, Sunset Overdrive, which, you know, they took them three years to come out with on Steam or yeah. anything computer-wise. It was one of my only reasons for ever getting an Xbox One. I may get one eventually, but I, it's not for that anymore. Uh, I remember when they announced that game, it looked pretty crazy, so I actually wanted it. I've heard it's okay, but again, really cool to have that game. I don't know a lot about it because I haven't played it, though. Yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of gameplay of it either. Yeah, I remember when they announced it, it looked great, yeah. though. But really, really cool. And then the other game I got was I finally got the other South Park game. It's uh, The Fractured But Whole, or, yeah... The fractured butthole. I love that double entendre. I do believe that you bought me the season pass as well because it was I think that so. on it sale. It was on sale. Yeah. yeah. So uh, really cool to have that. It's another RPG, but it's their superhero alter egos, yeah, uh, as opposed to them dressing up as uh, <laughs> as opposed to them dressing up as as like you know Game of Thrones level stuff for the first game. Really, really cool though. Really, really cool. I gotta play it. I gotta beat. Uh, Stick of Truth first, though. That's it for all our Steam games. We'll actually go on to... Uh, this one's a little bit special, because I still don't know exactly what I want to do with this, but I had a, I, I remember having a little bit of history with this. It's actually a, a PC game on disc. It's actually SimCity 2000, and it's actually still sealed. I found this at a uh, one of our local Goodwills for a couple bucks, and I'm like... I, I've, I do remember playing this game, I think, at one of my old daycares pretty extensively. Um, I might have to download... I did actually just download a virtual machine to play some old DOS games and old uh, PC game disc games that I have, and this is probably going to get opened and played at some point. But really, really cool. It actually comes with all of the uh, expansions, because this is before they had DLC. So really, really cool. I, until I decide I want to play it, it's going to stay sealed, though. But really, really cool to have this. I, I played this quite a bit as a kid. But we go on to... Well, there's one handheld game in here, but... Uh, we're going to a bunch of console games. First up, we'll actually have an NES game. Uh, most of these, or actually a few of these, we bought at the uh, the thrift store. This being one of them, the first two here. Uh, this, like I said, is an NES game. Uh, did I need to get this? No, but it had Mario on it. It's NES Open Tournament Golf. It's a golf game. 
It's not like the big black box golf game, but it had Mario. It's it's Mario Golf. Uh, my only gripe with this is that the label up there is a little peeled back, but otherwise it looks really, really good. I don't have much to say because it's golf. It was just kind of a why not buy it because it's an NES game, yeah. and it looks like it, it looks legit. It looks so clean. Yeah, yeah it's, it is good. We need to fix this at some point, though, but yeah. still really, really cool to have. It's another NES game to add to the collection. Then, like I said, our only handheld game, uh, this one we also found at the thrift store, and it's a game that's actually been on my list for a while. Uh, I've, I have a friend who really played who played these games a lot, liked uh, both. Actually, I think they just added a console one. The first two were handheld. But it's actually it's uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy fighting game. Uh, this has all kinds of... It has, I think, characters from... This game came out in 2008, 9. So Let me it has, see who's on the front. It has Cloud... Uh, Let's see... Cloud Squall... Uh, it has a bunch of people. It's got uh, it's got even the ones that don't have names. It's like Knight from the Titus. First one. Yeah, the the basic class is yeah, from the original. It, it has a bunch of cat uh, characters. There is a second one that was also on PSP, and then I believe they just like last year, the year before, released one on PS4. So I, I've been wanting to play this, and it plays pretty well. It's actually. interesting. Yeah, I played yeah, it was around. It, yeah, it was it yeah. was all right. I'll have to play it a little bit. It's more. not it's not just one of those because when you first look at the game, it's like oh, I can just hack and slash my way through and win, but it's it's like more than that. Yeah. Like, you can't just, oh, s hit the X button to slash. You do have look. to be a little bit strategic. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is pretty cool, though, to have this. I, this has actually been at the top of my list for Final Fantasy games for a while, and I, I think we got it for, like, less than ten bucks, so it was pretty cool. But then we actually move on to uh, a couple of games that we... Uh, some stuff we got at our local retro game store because I went there just for kicks uh, I, Or no, it was to buy the uh, the the NES I didn't plan on buying anything else or actually I was looking for one other classic game They didn't d didn't have it. They still don't I'm gonna buy it on the spot when it's there because I have the money now But I ended up getting a couple games uh, a game here and then a couple for free uh, I actually got this one on clearance uh, didn't expect to buy it to get it and the case is a little busted I now noticed so I'll have to replace that at some point um, but it's actually Mega Man X6 uh, I know nothing about this game the only Mega Man game I ever really extensively and I don't even want to say extensively followed was X4 um, but I, I put it in it looks pretty fun and I got it on sale uh, I got it for like half off so it was like 10 bucks or something and they don't usually go for that I think it's because it's broken I will have to fix this. If I just have to get a generic jewel case, so be it. But really, really cool to have another Mega Man, though. Don't really, like I said, I don't really know this one that well. It came out in 2001. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a lot to say, like I said. Really, really cool, though. Really cool. And then these last three I actually got for free, and they're, I don't want to call them games, because they're not, but they're PS2. They're actually PS2 demo discs. I got, I was originally going to ask for one of them, but the guy just went, you can have all of them if you want. So, well, first up we have the, uh, we'll have to move the camera a little bit, uh, the PlayStation Underground Summer 2002 Jam Pack. Holy crap. Which has, uh, let's see, the original Jack and Daxter, Hot Shots Golf 3, Parappa the Rapper 2, The Crash, uh, Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, Time Splitters 2, Half-Life, um, and then there's also, uh, I guess, Frequency. Don't really know that game that well. Freak style. Star Freak Wars. Style. Star okay. Wars Jedi Starfighter. The original, or videos for the original SOCOM and Kingdom Hearts. So it's not playable demos for those, unfortunately. Really, really cool to have this. And then uh, we got two more. We have the uh, Jam Pack Demo Disc Volume 10, PlayStation Underground again. Oh, what game this has that? playable stuff for Siphon Filter. The Omega Strain, MLB 2005, oh boy. Wow. Uh, Rise to Honor, NBA Shootout 2004, Transformers Front Mission 4 PsyOps, which I've heard. World Soccer Wintering 11 7 International. What the uh, heck? <laughs> and then MX Unleashed. And then videos for Sly 2, Final Fantasy 11, and iToy Groove. Remember iToy? Oh, yeah. That camera thing? I played with it like one game. Dude, like, but, there's a whole ton of those eye toys that are at Goodwill selling for like three dollars. Oh wow, I might have to grab one one of these days just cause. But another really cool one uh, that I got for free, and then our last one is uh, this is uh, the PlayStation Underground Jam Pack Volume Thirteen. Uh, we got uh, playable demos of Shadow of the Colossus, which is cool. Sly, th uh, Sly Three, Jack X Combat Racing, Ratchet Deadlocked. 
Well, these are all really good. Castlevania Curse of Darkness, Soul Calibur 3, Burnout Revenge, oh boy, Chronicles of Narnia, Genji, Dawn of the Samurai, Brother, Brothers in Arms. There's There might be more on there. I, I can't really tell. There's just but 10. It looks like Soul Calibur. Or, that is Soul Calibur 3. Duh. Okay. A really, really cool. Um... To have, like I said, it's just a demo, but still really, I kind of like collecting demo discs, and it was free, so I was really happy about that. Really, really cool. Really cool. And uh, then we go back to a couple of uh, thrift store games, and this last one particularly was like a holy heck moment, or yes. a really big moment. But it's actually two GameCube games, and uh, I grabbed this one just because, you know, the, the games in this series on console are terrible. It's the kind of a mixed bag, I guess, sometimes. But it's uh, the only Yu-Gi-Oh game on GameCube, Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. And for some reason, the logo is in purple. I double-checked that heck? to make sure this is legit, and it is. Um, it's like a three-on-three -three monster battle thing. I don't know a lot about it. Unfortunately, the cards are not in the, in there. So, But um, that's the god cards in the back. I just noticed that. Um, yeah. But uh, I don't really know a lot about this game, but it was super cheap, like less than 10 bucks, so I bought it. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. There's some good Yu-Gi-Oh games. Um, but the real big pickup... Yes. And I'd almost call this the biggest pickup of the, of the last couple months, but I, I can't say. But I got this for a really good deal. Original Animal Crossing. Like, everywhere I've seen this has been like $25 to $40. Yeah. I paid $20. i am not i am not going to, like... I, I, don't, I don't like uh, talking about how much I spent on these, but every so often it's just like, I paid $20. And it actually has, holy cow, it has like a subscribe to, is this a Nintendo Power thing? Oh my god, it's a Nintendo Power sign up. And a e-reader! Oh my what? god. I never opened these. I never opened this. Holy cow. It doesn't have the manual though, which is a shame. Yeah. But that's okay. You can always, people sell manuals. Yeah, I could probably find the manual. It doesn't really matter to begin with. But, but I love Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Crossing. I so, remember back in the day mm. of Hollywood Video, I... Rented Animal Crossing, and I was like, oh, this is an interesting game, but blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was like, like, back in the day, I was like, oh, this is a really boring game. And then I came back to it years later, and I was like, I really need to play this game again. No, this is kind of like, I'm not big on simulation games quite like yeah, it's this, just, but you just, you this just is a big deal. And, this this game yeah. particularly was a big deal, and then the other one we have on 3DS, New Leaf, are like the two that are particularly highly regarded. So, yeah, I'm happy to finally have this. This was a big pickup for the GameCube, definitely. This is one of the big ones. So I am really happy to finally have this. I'm so, I don't even know what to say about this one. Really, really cool. I'm very happy. And uh, e this would probably easily be closing out the video if a little game that we've been waiting, what, 13 years to come out hadn't come out this month, finally? Yes. If we haven't hinted at it enough, which I haven't really, it's Kingdom Hearts 3. We have waited so long for this game to come out. I was in yes. high school when the second game came out. And I, I played every single game. Except, except for, Birth for Birth by Sleep. Yeah. But I, the, 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 the last console game came out when I was in high school. Okay, it's I'm almost 30 yeah. now. Like, <laughs> the freaking English voice actor Sora was 15 in Kingdom Hearts 1, and now he's 30. Yeah. yeah. They, they brought back almost the entire original cast. Like... They're the only there's only like Kyrie is a different voice. There's some of the organization members and stuff. Yeah, and freaking um, who was it? And then Mickey. Oh yeah, the voice of Mickey. Yeah, the died. voice of Mickey. He died, died in like 2009. So there's another Mickey Mouse voice right. after hearing the same Mickey Mouse voice like your whole yeah. life, and then somebody else does it. it it's kind of like he does a good job. It's just like he. His voice seems flat and not mm -hmm. not cheerful enough, I guess. I get it. I get it. But uh, going on, with, we are actually in the middle of this game. Uh, we've heard it's really short and really easy. So far, it hasn't been. I mean, it's been, I guess, easy in a sense because we haven't really died. But it doesn't seem too horribly short. Well, we're already ha we're more than halfway through the game. I know, but that's because we've been playing for hours, like three or four hours a day. We've only played like for thirteen hours. I know, but if you go back to like the older Kingdom Hearts, like you can beat a level in a day, which sounds about right. But this game looks amazing. I will say, like the look of this game is amazing. It looks incredible on a TV. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, my only issue is there's there's no Final Fantasy characters in it, 
And that's your issue. And like they went super, they went almost my, entirely my, Pixar. They didn't go a lot of like other Disney and all, all these Disney movies they could have gone to. And they go, oh, let's go to Frozen and Tangled and 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 Toy Story and Monsters Inc. and Big Hero Six. And instead of like I don't know other stuff they could have gone. There's to. only three returning worlds in this: uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Hundred Acre Caribbean. Wood, and Olympus. Um, but, like I said, we're not done with the game yet, and we don't want to spoil too much, but it looks really pretty, and I actually enjoy how the game plays a lot. It actually plays really, really well. It just plays like any other Kingdom Hearts game. Well, There's no, they, they did something to it. It flows super good. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's a current-gen console, but it's still the same gameplay that all the other Kingdom Hearts games have. Not really. Like, it just flows a lot. Like, like you can like, combo I'd and... say, like, it, it's similar to Kingdom Hearts 2 and above. Okay. Like, yeah, I don't remember Kingdom Hearts as... two playing like this, but I mean it's smoother because it's PS4, not a PS2. Well, no, I'm saying like there's better combos. But... You can do more. You can oh, fly around like and crap. The... Yeah. Oh. I so, mean, I feel like that you could do that in Kingdom Hearts um, Dream Drop. This. Yeah. Case. No, that's the only one that I would say is kind of on par, but otherwise. But anyway, really, uh, this game, like I'm really happy to have this finally. But. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, it doesn't even feel real. It doesn't. It still doesn't. It's like... <laughs> it's like... You don't feel like you're playing this game because it's been so long. Yeah, I get that. It does. It was kind of weird. We're still at the points. But I'm really happy to have this game. This is a big... Kind of a big deal for, for me and her. Oh, yeah. The only thing I really want to see is... I haven't really seen spoilers that much. But people say that you see more of Sora's personality. Well, so because, far it has. Because have. most of the time, in all the other games he's in, he's always like, I gotta save this, I gotta save that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And he doesn't like, he's not like his own character. But And no, like, no. like the three main characters don't really have that much personality either. Yeah, no, they're Riku friends. Does. Yeah, they're friends and stuff. But like, who has more personality? Riku or Simba from <sighs> Lion King? Like, Me. Yeah, but... <laughs> No, this is this is definitely a big one. Um, they have come out and said it's not the last game in the series, though. They've said it's the end of the Xehanort saga, though. So I'm wondering what exactly is going to happen, because they're building to something ridiculous. So it's like... Uh, is this... Um... I don't know. This ought to be fun, though. I just want to... And how long is Haley Joel Osment and all of these people going to play these characters in this? Well, I feel like Donald and Goofy have to play Donald well, and Goofy. Yeah, I know. Like, Donald and Goofy, but I'm they're saying... They're probably like, under a I'm saying, like, Riku and, and Sora... And Roxas and all them, how long are they going to play the damn... Because eventually they're going to be too old. Unless they move on to different characters. Which is possible. But, really, really cool. Do uh, you have anything else to say, Crystal? Uh... Oh, yeah. If you want to get into playing this game, you can. There's a... um. There's a collection on PS4 of all the other games before this. You can get it digitally, but, uh, yeah, because the physical version is out of print. It's called The Story So Far, and it has every single one. Well, not every single one, because they haven't released... They don't have an HD version of, what was it, uh, Recoded or 358 over two days, but they have them in, like, a cinematic movie, so you can basically know what happens. Yeah. But it, if that, you if you don't play those games, you're not really missing anything because they're super repetitive anyway. Yeah. So. But those those games, uh, there is also the 1.5 and 2.5 remix pack, and there's 2.8, uh, which has everything. And there's also a nice little explanation of all the um, yeah. stuff that's happened. Yeah, in, they do like, that in the, the menu. menu for this game. Yeah. They did add that, but really really cool. Um, yeah, this is a big deal, huge deal for us. Um, but. That's it. That's the last game. And that's it for the January and February of 2019 collection update video series. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed all these videos, and I'll see you in a couple months. Later. Bye!